Hello. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to use Office scripts to clear hyperlinks from Excel worksheets for any Excel files stored on, on the web. So what I have here is a sheet uh, containing many cells with hyperlinks on them. And this could be hyperlinks that points to somewhere within the workbook, or it could be external hyperlinks. So oftentimes, um, if you pull in data from outside sources, say maybe you're copy pasting something, uh, it brings in all the hyperlinks associated with it. Now, what if we wanted to clear all that and just make it you know, plain, simple text? So to do that, um, I will head over to the Automate tab and uh, go to the Code Editor and begin writing a new script. Um, and what I'm interested in is to get you know, the, all the range or the use range associated with the sheet. Let's call it you know, sheet one. Uh, and you can repeat this for any number of sheets. But for now, I'm just gonna do it for this sheet. Uh, and basically get all the cells associated with it. And if it has any hyperlink um, and clear them. So I will begin by getting a reference to the sheet. So I'll call it just sheet. And off of the workbook, I'm gonna get the, the worksheet here. So let's call it sheet one. And uh, what I'm interested in is the sort of the use range. So use range is um, is a concept within Excel uh, that returns the any range where there is either text or formatting associated, and it starts with the leftmost cell and goes to the the right bottommost cell where there is either some formatting or data associated, and it will give the entire grid back. So I'll get uh, the um, uh, rather I'll get from the sheet uh, get use range. And now if um, there is no use range, so that means there is no you know, data associated with it, uh, I can simply you know, say uh, there is nothing here to work with. And then simply return. So what this will do is if there is nothing to work with, it will just simply um, end. So if I go to the, the new, um, a, a brand new blank worksheet, if, if I run this, it won't find any data uh, in this sheet. And I'll call it sheet two here, since I'm on sheet two, uh, it'll say that, hey, look, there is no data in the sheet. Whereas if I switch over to sheet one, change this to sheet one, um, and I run this, you know, we'll, it will not hit that condition and we can kind of continue the process further. Uh, and then simply I'm just going to display the range that I'm dealing with. So use range dot get address. So this is clearing hyperlinks for the range um, and then the entire range address. So in this one, I'm getting A1 through C31. So that's the, the data grid that I'm dealing with here. All right, so once that is done, and I wanna um, perform the actual action. So for that, I will just write another function uh, and I'll call it remove hyperlink and um, I will supply this with the actual range it won't return anything it will simply clear it um, and so what this function is uh, that I can call from the main function so this will receive the target range and then it'll perform uh, the API calls needed to remove the hyperlinks. So first I'm gonna um, get kind of the dimensions. So I'll say, you know, row count off of the target range, get me the, uh, the row count. So this is how many uh, rows there are. And then the same thing with column count. 
off with the target range. Let me get the uh, the column count. Right. So now I have kind of the rows, number of rows, and number of columns. Uh, okay, so I just need a, a loop or two loops, one to go through each of the rows, and within that to go through each of the columns. So I'll call it uh, I, and that will traverse through each of the rows. And then within here, I'm going to do for J, and that will go through each of the column. Okay, to um, compute sort of how many cells I've visited, so I can maybe, you know, periodically I can display some messages. So I'll have a um, uh, cells, I'll call it cells visited, zero. So initially I've not visited any. So here I'll, I'll increment it so that I know how many cells that I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm operating on. Uh, and then periodically I may want to display a message saying, hey, if um, let's say cells visited, let's say every 50, um, so every 50th cell that I visit, uh, just log a message that says something to the effect of completed uh, visiting So this tells me, well, this keeps keeps the user informed of where things are because this is a type of a script that will likely take um, a long time to actually complete. Okay, so once I do that, um, I will go back to getting the individual cell. So let me call it let cell. Uh, and off of the target range, I'm going to get the cell using the get cell API. So this is, uh, this takes two parameters, the row and the column. So this is zero index. And since I'm in the second loop, I can just simply use uh, I and J column, uh, I and J variables. And um, so now that I have the cell, I will get the hyperlink object associated with this. So from the cell, I'll get the hyperlink. Um, okay, and just like I did this with the um, with the use range, I can say, hey, if there is hyperlink object, that is, if it's not a uh, undefined, uh, I would like to now clear. First, clear the hyperlinks, and then um, I will remove the underlying style. So from the cell, I can get the uh, format object associated with it, and then I'll get the get the font, and I'll set the underline to have. Um, and then lastly, um, I will set the color to be black. And I'm having to do this because there isn't one API that can do all this. Um, and if you intend your text to retain the original color, um, then you will have to save the color and, and, um, and apply the same color back. For instance, this is right now in blue. Um, you can read the color back and then save it and apply the same color back if you intend to retain the same color. But um, for the most part, I think this will satisfy the majority of the scenario where I just want to clear uh, 
the hyperlink and reset the text back to black. Right. Okay. Um, God. So, uh, so this is the number of cells visited. I'm also going to have uh, a cells cleared object, so that way I know how many cells that I'm actually clearing. All right, so now at the end of these loops, I will display a message that said, um, that says, okay, done clearing the hyperlinks. Let's say visited. So many cells visited. Cleared number of cells cleared. Right. Okay, and then I will simply return. Okay, so now I have a function that uh, that is removing all the hyperlinks, and I just want to simply call that function now. So I'll call this function. And I pass it the the use range, and that'll be it. So if I run this, it sh I expect each of these cells to be um, cleared of the hyperlink, and the re it should retain the the format uh, that I had originally. Right, so you see that it's going through the cells and um, it done clearing all the hyperlinks. So it visited 93 uh, cells and then it cleared 53 of them. Okay, um, yeah, thanks for.